This video is about relational model concepts where relational model is a record based logical model where the information that you want to store is stored in a tabular manner that is in a table. Now what is a table? A table is a 2D structure that has certain rows and columns. Now let's say if you have to store information of certain students and the attributes or the things that you want to store about the students are enrollment number, name, address, age and so on. So how you make a table is the column values, the column names are the attributes that you want to set. First is the enrollment number, other is the name, address, age, date of birth. So whatever information that you want to store about a particular student is in the columns and here you can store the information about certain students. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and so on. And you can give this table a name. Let's say student. Now the rows are known as tuples or records. And these are your columns where the attributes are stored. There are certain things to be remembered in relational model concepts. So like first is values within a column are homogeneous. That means all the tuples in a certain column are to be in the same format. For example, for enrollment number, if you are using the data type integer, every roll number should be present in the integer data type only. Next thing that you should remember is each tuple in a relation is unique. Each record should be different. Next is the columns of a table like enrollment number name. The names given to these columns should be distinct. Third is that the ordering of the tuples is immaterial and the sequence of the column within a relation is also of no importance. Lastly, you need to remember the thing that is each table must have a primary key. What is a primary key we will deal in in the next video but you just have to remember that every every table must have a primary key to uniquely identify tuples in a relation. So on the whole this is the table name, this is the table to store the information about certain students. The attributes that you want to store are given the names or are used as names of columns and the information are stored in rows. Thank you.